I'm Bethany Grace LaPrade and I'm 16 years old. I love you. I love you. I love you too. I grew up in a beautiful log cabin home in Virginia, which was, in my personal opinion, the greatest place to grow up. And a few years later, we built the dream house. Mom sketched it out, and Daddy made it happen. These handprints on the front steps are mine. Videos just to try to up those steps. And childhood began. In that little back bedroom. I was a cheerleader starting at age six, and it quickly turned into my everything. I loved everything about it, and somehow wanted to do it for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was always small, too small. But I was the flyer and I spent every waking hour working on becoming better and better. And I did. I also loved to sing, but I didn't focus on that too much. I did a few talent shows, wrote a few songs, took a few lessons. It was exciting, but where I really wanted to be was on the competition floor. It was my passion. Always has been. In 2006, we were in Atlanta, Georgia. Nationals. The big competition. And that's when it happened. And my coach had to carry me. That was the first concussion. But I was alright. Eventually got back into the game. If I could tell the world just one thing. It definitely made me stumble, but I didn't let it push me down. It was my dream to be a high school cheerleader. Seems funny now, but it was my dream. Then reality set in. And when I say reality, I mean the economic recession. We moved to Texas. I don't know how, but somehow we managed to run across this incredible blessing called Cabo. I quickly found a church family at First Baptist Dallas who became the most important people in my life and who I would later realize would save it. October 5th, 2008, I was baptized. I didn't have a cheer team here. I tried, but I wouldn't call it that. But high school came around, and I actually did it. I was a high school cheerleader. But I knew it was never after. I started feeling content. I made incredible friends, and I was a cheerleader, and I knew that somehow I would do it for the rest of my life. I don't know how you do that, but I'd figure it out. April 16th, 2010. My whole life flipped upside down. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were going to San Antonio. It was for a choir trip. There were a bunch of us, and we were having the time of our lives on the bus, <laughs> laughing harder than we ever had. The bus stopped suddenly, and Bethany hit her head. Many of us thought, oh, well, she just hit her head. Like, it's fine. Like, it'll be good. But then the next day, we went to the amusement park and rode rides. And that's when Bethany was saying how her head started hurting. She started getting constant headaches. And then actually that night after the amusement park, me, Jordan, and Bethany were in the um, hotel room getting ready for bed. We were playing on the computer, having fun. And all of a sudden, me and Jordan are laying in bed, and we just see Bethany pass out, and she just falls on the ground. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to keep myself together. And that whole night, me and Jordan stayed up with her the whole night because we had to make sure she didn't fall asleep in case she had a concussion. Next morning, we were on our way home, and she starts, like, getting like really bad headaches again and um, it's like really really bad and so we take her actually to a hospital on the way home and her mom meets her up there and the rest of us went home and everyone's freaking out we don't know what's going on it was just crazy to think that you know I was sitting on the bus on the way home from San Antonio and Bethany was sleeping on my lap for like three hours and I had no idea that those little moments of her coming in and out of consciousness was going to be like the last time in a while that she like knew me. Bethany lost her memory for three months. I mean, I still today. Three years.
three years I couldn't tell you anything about. Someone, and then when they look at you like that, it's really hard. It's so hard to explain, but like the look in her eyes, you could just tell like she did not recognize me. But if you can understand that, like looking into someone's eyes and they don't have any concept of who you are, like you can tell. It's like it was just the weirdest thing. I just feel like this experience made me appreciate that so much more and know that I always wanted my life. You make beautiful things. It's one of those you make who cares about everyone and makes so many memories so fast. That's just how she is. You find Everything changed after that. Not remembering was hard, but that really wasn't the worst part. I was never allowed to cheer again. And that rocked my world. Still kind of does. But July 11th, 2010, I got my memory back. Or most of it. Single best day of my life. My brain will never be the same, but I didn't care. I had to figure out life without cheer. And so that's when I started. <laughs> 